similarly you go to the uh, apical four chamber view as i told this focus mainly on the lateral and the septal uh, view in the septal mid septal and the basal septal are usually supplied by the uh, pda and the apical and the apical chamber all the all, all of the uh, mid uh, distal to mid septum and the lateral wall apical lateral wall separated by the LA retinal very important to differentiate and then the four two chamber view that's what we discussed the four two chamber will you will be focusing on the anterior and the inferior walls and the basal inferior basal posterior mid posterior and the apical will be seen as the uh, mid sub mid posterior or the basal posterior will be our inferior it is posterior and posterior it's inferior and it will be seen as the uh, uh, supplied by the PDA and the apical and the anterior most part is always supplied by the yellow retinal similarly you can see you can go through the uh, proper echo views and you can easily visualize that the basal uh, septum is here and the posterior basal is here most probably these two the uh, the basal uh, septum and the most basal part of the uh, posterior segment is supplied by the PDA, the mid part is supplied by usually the OL6 OM, the apical and the up to the basal part of the septum is usually supplied by the LAD artery. Similarly, you can go back and see the even the apical fourth chamber view, the all the basal structures, the basal lateral line, the basal uh, septum is usually supplied by the PDA branch and then the remaining lateral wall, the apical wall and up to the mid of the septum is usually supplied by the LAD territory. So LCX territory is usually not seen in the apical four chamber view. For LCX territory, you would have to go to the plaques view. Plaques view visualize for these structures or predominantly you go at the mid segment, mid level of the uh, short axis view. So mid segment short axis, the papillary muscle, you can see a huge area of supplied by the LCX territory. So if you are seeing some defective uh, regional wall motion abnormality in this area, then it's most probably you are tackling with the LCX OEM territory. So you can um, uh, count the number of segments which are uh, having uh, the hypokinesia or akinesia or dyskinesia, whatever the terminologies we use, we will discuss. And those will be calculated and number of segments, as the number of segments increase, the severity of the patient's uh, um, regional motion and uh, patient's uh, prognosis goes on becoming bad.